Welcome to the Jesse Rosinski Show. Doing something different with the light to see if this, you know, works better with the blue filter on it. So if it looks weird, sorry. Trying to figure out the best combo. And I can't see if I'm really glowing that well because I was dumb enough to take the one filter off to put another one on. And I might not have turned it off, so I'm still seeing lots of spots. And before we get into it, I just have to say, I found this quite humorous when the names for you know, the Hurricanes came out. I mean, I know it's technically Sam, as in a man's name. But, I mean, what are the odds that back-to-back name storms are Rose and Sam? And anyone that knows me, anything about, you know, the X, that is just... That's just creepy. With, you know, her first and middle name, and then we get Rose and Sam. I know, again, it's a male Sam, because that's how they, you know, every other one, but... Man! I put a smile on my face in the worst way ever. Stay safe during hurricane season, because apparently it's going to try to kill me again. Now, let's get into this again. Got to talk about Governor Cuomo, because, you know, he's a tool. He can't help himself. Yeah, no matter what, no matter what's going on, just blame everyone else, act like nothing's wrong. Big smile on his face. But it was amazing, once again, going back that, you know, how good of a job, you know, Biden's doing, you know, considering the cupboards were bare, there was no vaccine when he took over. And, I mean, first of all, if there was no vaccine, how did all those politicians, including Joe Biden, get vaccinated before Joe Biden was president? There was no vaccines. You know, I mean, Trump deserves credit for getting everyone the vaccines, and as many of them that are effective as fast as he did. Like, oh, but he, you know, Joe Biden's ordered more. Well, that's because more of them have finished and come through, so you obviously get more. But we are vaccinating people at the same rate, if not higher, than we are right now under Biden, under Trump. This is, yeah, Cuomo just, I mean, don't you just give him, like, insert foot in mouth? It's not that ever comes out. He talked about, you know, you know, he also talked about giving money to airports, because there's some airports that look like third world countries in this country. Well... Airports, you know, they make money. Woohoo. Shocker. I mean, yeah, they might get money from, you know, the government part of it, yes. But, I mean, if they do make their own money, they can upgrade it all on their own. Why does the Fed have to pay billions of taxpayer dollars that we don't have to fix people's garbage airports? And that, like, should not be part of any bill for anything, especially when it's supposed to be COVID relief. Yeah. Cuomo, though. Yeah, brought it up. I also brought up, yeah, how nice it was and how good it is for Biden to be giving tens of billions of dollars to many, to multiple, you know, blue states. Because, you know, they bankrupt themselves because they handled the pandemic like idiots and they had... You know, because they're just stupid and they have no money when there's places like Florida, you know, the city of Miami. Lots and lots and lots of tourism normally. Guarantee you that wasn't nearly as nice thanks to COVID this year. And the city of Miami only lost $2 million, you know, but they had money saved compared to, you know, the blue states and cities, which, you know, L.A., New York, all these people that just spend, 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 spend. People in Michigan, like, you know, all they do, there's never balance. So we're just going to give them taxpayer dollars that we don't even have. We're just going to print off more money to save them because they're idiots and they're fiscally irresponsible. But hey, there he was. Yeah. 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 With Governor Cuomo, of all people, Joe Biden. Joe Biden talking to him at the, you know, governor's summit thing. They're meeting. I'm going to have a great conversation. Like, you know, he didn't, like, underreport all kinds of deaths in nursing homes to get himself... You know, because he was afraid Trump was going to, you know, I don't know, use all those numbers as a reason to investigate it, which should have been. And, you know, lying to the feds. Yeah, I know I'd be in jail. I wouldn't still get to do anything. I'd be bye-bye ski. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Get your crippled self in that cage and sit there and like it. That's what happened to me.
That's what would happen to all of you, because we're not bleeding heart, liberal, corrupt lefties. So we don't get whatever we want. Like, you know, and we can't lie through our teeth about, you know, like there being no vaccines, even though they're all getting vaccinated. You know, how good it is to give money to states and we need to spend more money in our relief bill for yeah, to fix you know, airports and everything right now when I'm pretty sure air travel, it's not, you know, I mean, there's still full airplanes, which tell you enough about the whole mask wearing and social distancing. If you could still all cram into an, you know, airplane. That should tell you enough. But I mean, there's weaselly scummy people and, you know, Cuomo, though, just keeps sitting there just talking all this trash and lying through his teeth the entire time. And then there's all you idiots on the other side. They're like, yay, like, no, really, actually go look up the numbers yourself. Like, actually do some research and stop listening to the idiots on all the mainstream media. Do some, look up some stuff on your own. That's why you got the internet. And you got one of these things. It's called a phone. Or you might have one of these things, a computer. Hell, you might even have one of those that's down there. A tablet of some sort with internet. If you're not home, you have data. If you have unlimited data, you can look it up on your phone. Research some stuff. Same idiots like him can just stop lying through their teeth because everyone would start calling him out except for you know, the very few that do on the right. Because all they do is lie. That's all they've been doing for years. Maybe I'm just finally really, really over it at this point. Who knows? Second thing. I just don't understand. I think I might have pissed off my mother for it last night, so... Sorry, Mom. Didn't think it was going to make you that angry. But how about Mr. Potato Head? It's now gender neutral and just... Potato Head. Like, the Mr. and Mrs. characters still, you know, exist, apparently, according to the... But just Potato Head. This is a real honest question for people. What level of crazy... Do you have to be to be offended by Mr. Potato Head? Like, how many of the offended generation behind mine that are offended by everything, how many of them even knew what Mr. Potato Head was to actually complain? I can't remember the last time I saw one of those, I think it was at my house growing up. Eons ago. But like, like, they'll still be characters, but, yeah. That's like them bringing back the Rugrats with the same voices, but doing it all in CGI. Or Monopoly being racist. Like, what? Like, can we have anything? Without it being, you know, screwed up and taken away, changed for, you know. Like, because, oh, I'm offended. Well, you know what? Guess what? You have the right to be offended. You don't have the right to go and just complain about everything on the planet. I mean, I'm complaining right now. But, I mean, first, showing your math is racist, then Monopoly is racist, Bernie's mittens are a sign of white pri of his white privilege, because he has mittens on. Now Mr. Potato Head has to go gender neutral, so we don't offend anybody. Hey, I'm just confused as to how we've even like gotten to this level. And yet it keeps getting worse. And people just keep letting it get worse. Like every day. I don't get it. I think it's kind of dumb. You know, my group of people, and the people right above me, you know, like my older sister, her friends, probably even a little bit before that, we all grew up on like family matters, step by step. Seventh Heaven was a thing. Boy meets world. Full house. Home improvement. Like the list goes on and on and on. All these family shows. We all you know, we'd sit down, watch together. The generation behind me is raised on you know stuff like Bob's Burgers, Burgers, South Park, Family Guy, like all this. And the list goes on and on. It's not just them. Like we did have Ren and Stimpy and that kind of stuff in my day, but there are so many actual like real family shows. I could just miss that they're on there, but. Like, they have the internet to see whatever they want. All And, like, they're just so offended by everything. They're so triggered. Like, we have raised... 
Like, people have raised a whole generation of just useless, whining people. I mean, come on. Mr. Potato Head needs to be gender neutral so it doesn't offend anyone and showing your math, your work in math class is racist. Like, yeah. That is just a bunch of whiny pussies. That's all that is. It's not actually hurting to anyone's feelings making all these companies. I mean, they're going to make money because, oh, look, we have to get rid of this character. But now he could sell the gender neutral one to people and they're going to make even more money. That's all it's going to accomplish. A bunch of people are going to think you're crazy. You're going to move on to the next thing three seconds later because that's what you people do. And just move on. Like, like, come on, man. Can I steal that back from you, Joe Biden? Can I? Can I please? And Randy Boss and all them on Sunday NFL Countdown. Yeah, you know, they're, come on, man. Like all of them, yeah, you know, they all have their moments. But I mean, damn. Stop whining. Stop crying. Stop complaining. You have the right to speak and complain, but you don't have the right to, like, just, like, throw a tantrum to the point where you guys, where the lefty crazies are so, like, like, corporations it just crumble to them. They go, oh, no, they're going to freak out on us. Yeah, stand up to them. Believe it or not, they'll stop sooner or later. Like, you keep letting your kid get away with stuff. And they just keep acting up and acting up and acting up because there's no consequences for acting like complete, spoiled, rotten. Hmm. Jagaloons. There's a good one. And now, close it out with a bang. For the week, the amazing thing that I saw, that, you know, to go along with them trying to raise the minimum wage, you know, federally to $15, which, you know, it's over double, which is just asinine, that's going to help. Hell, throwing budget people even said that it's going to hurt more people than it helps. Um, so, you know, 900,000 come out of poverty, 1.4 million lose their job, which means more people would be there'd be more people in poverty at the end of it all than there are now. But, Walmart saw a thing. Now they're going to, you know, raise the minimum wage. Somewhere between 13 and $19 for 425,000 of their employees. You know what the best part about that is? They employ 2.2 million people. 2.2 million. They're giving 425,000, 13 to 19, somewhere in there. Like, so, what the hell about the other 1.8 million? Because I guarantee you that's, like, all the people stocking the shelves and warehouses and, you know, that are actually physically slaving away for just a monolithic just corporation as big as Walmart is. Like, I just have a hard time believing that 425,000 employees, that those 425 are, you know, the bottom tier people that, you know, is I mean, 1.8, really, roughly 1.8 million, 425,000. I have an odd feeling that that 1.8 million is probably the people that are actually doing all the work and slaving away. You know, that's going to give, like, you know, what, probably, I mean, it's not confirmed, but that small of a number pretty sure it's not going to be the people slaving away and, you know, busting their tails. Slaving away for Walmart. An odd feeling that 425 is probably, you know, people that, you know, department heads that are doing things or stuff like that, because that, there's a lot less of them than there is the peon slaves that work for Walmart. I'll guarantee you that one. Try to prove me wrong on it. I beg you. Really, really, really do. Pretty please. Just like Hurricane Rose followed by Sam. Bring it. Because the last one I knew with those names in reverse order didn't work out so well. So I'm ready. Yeah. I don't care how many months away we are. If anything comes near me, that thing's going to hit something. It's going to be chaotic. Trust me. I know these things. But that being said, Appreciate it. Like, comment, share. Follow me along. Get people to follow and like and share and watch. Uh, if you're into wrestling, got the other, yeah, you know, wrestling with ski. Gonna do it, yeah. You know, 
the episode of that today, and then I'm even doing one tomorrow. That's a Monday through Saturday thing, six days a week, and I might even start doing a Sunday, like before takeovers and pay-per-views, like their pre-show. I'm going to give my own feelings, and then we'll see what happens after. Um, yeah, so if you're into that, go check out Wrestling With Ski on the other page. Follow me on, if you don't like Facebook, follow me on uh, YouTube under Jesse Rosinski or Rumble is Bearded Ski. If you would rather be on those and not have to deal with the idiocy that is Facebook. Um, so enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Don't do anything too stupid. Don't get you know drunk or wasted or anything on anything. And be anywhere near anything that you'd like to buy. That sometimes doesn't work out well. Take care of one another. Have some conversations. Have a good weekend. And until next time, my friends, peace.